Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to download and install JUnit to the, your Java with the Eclipse in Windows 10 machine. So before we install uh, Eclipse uh, JUnit, please make sure that you have Java JDK installed in your Windows 10 machine. Also you have installed Eclipse. If you don't have installed, please uh, check the description part of this video and I'm, I'll put all the links and you can on how to download the JDK and Eclipse to Windows 10 machine. So let's start uh, first uh, down installing the JUnit. So uh, let me go to Google. In the Google type uh, download JUnit. As you can see the first link it's about JUnit, JUnit.org. It's official website of JUnit. It's a very reliable site and don't worry to go there. Click on JUnit and click on download and install uh, so from um, this page you will see if you scroll down it has several options it's plain and old jar there are the two jar files for JUnit and also you have the option download with the maven uh, for this video I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use those jar files only so first I'm gonna click on JUnit jar and JUnit jar I'm gonna press on this download button and click on jar and uh, keep it so it is now downloaded and let me go back and let me download hamcrest core jar also we need this file to run JUnit properly uh, click on that one and click on download button and click on jar as you can see it is now downloading and it have completed downloading those two uh, libraries and go to your uh, downloads part in the downloads folder you will see that uh, there is two libraries we have downloaded and what we're gonna do to copy those two uh, files to other preferred location uh, select both of file right click uh, copy go to documents I have the file called Java libraries where I will save all my uh, libraries in Java and right click and pass I have copied and passed those two files under uh, java library and open your eclipse i have already set up a project if you didn't set up project yet please go to file uh, file new and create java project since i have already set up this one i don't have to do it again and in selenium java automation right click uh, you will see build path and configure build path and here in java build pass library uh, click on add external jars and as you can see i have uh, on the java library i have those two files uh, if you don't see it please go where you copied and uh, pass those two files and select those and click on open now we have added those uh, build those libraries on our project and click apply apply and close and the right click on a project and refresh uh, under SRC folder I have selenium first class uh, I have uh, selenium first class uh, package under this package I'm gonna create new class uh, let me say it's my J unit uh, test let me say like this and uh, finish so guys uh, now I'm gonna create one method here uh, I will just uh, this is not like actual testing but it's like simulates the testing let's say uh, one method public public void it will not return anything uh, my my sample test and parentheses and this is the method and he, here I'm gonna print out uh, something system out print dot ln I'm gonna print out here mm, hi this is my first method to test with uh, J unit and since we have J unit library in our project um, you're gonna type at test on top of this uh, on top of this method and you will if you hover up it gave error if you hover up it will show you it will suggest you to, to solve this problem 
and in the first line you will see import test uh, from ArcTouch unit library click on that as you can see it's gone and now we're gonna run this uh, we're gonna run this method since uh, it's JUnit uh, testing we don't need any main method to run our test you're gonna only do is uh, right click run as JUnit test click OK Yahoo! In the console, it will print it out. Hi, this is my first method to test with JUnit. And if you can see this uh, report, it's the JUnit report, and click on that one. Uh, and it, you see that it runs 1 1, errors 0, failures 0. So uh, my test is passed. This is the sample. Instead of this one, you're going to have the bunch of code to test uh, anything. It's JUnit test. You can test any particular part of your coding or you can test uh, you can use this uh, JUnit with selenium to uh, generate report and so on please uh, subscribe to my channel and like my video if you really really appreciate my videos please uh, have a good day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye bye